Hi, I'm Larry Janeski. I'm a basement waterproofing expert, and me and my friends who are basement waterproofing contractors across North America have installed hundreds of thousands of sump pumps and replaced hundreds of thousands of sump pumps. And I want to tell you why we use the pump that we use and do a very quick product review for you. First of all, when you're choosing a sump pump, you don't want to use a plastic pump. We reviewed that in another video. And uh, plastic pumps will overheat uh, a lot easier and are lesser quality and will burn out a lot easier. You don't want to use a pump with a screen at the inlet because that will clog and uh, then th that's a problem. Uh, you don't want to use a, sw a switch that's a ball on a wire design that floats up and, and can uh, swing and get hung up uh, and not turn the pump on or off. But if we take a look here, this, these are the brand of sump pump that we use and we take a look at the motors inside these things and this is where a, there's a huge difference. Uh, if, if we take a look here at these motors, we can see that, take this off, Look at the size of this motor. If we just take a look here and we see the size of the, of the motor involved. And this is another one. This is just a, a really, uh, th these two are called CAN motors. They, they're manufactured in a, in a little housing. And then the pump manufacturers buy these motors in this housing and drop them into their uh, pump housing and now you have a double housing which doesn't dissipate heat as well and these motors are two pole motors and they spin at 3600 rpm whereas this motor is a four pole motor and it spins at half that speed only 1800 rpm so it's going to last a lot longer it's not working as hard you're not working that motor as hard we also have a 20 percent safety factor in this uh, motor so in other words we're not running this thing at full capacity. We're only running it uh, at a fraction of its full capacity so that it will last longer. We're not pushing the motor to the edge like some of these others. Uh, we also uh, find that uh, cast iron pumps are the best and this is the pump that we use. Of course it comes in different sizes and it's cast iron. The top, the middle where the motor is, which is most important, is also cast iron and also the top of where the impeller spins in there is cast iron. Dissipates heat really well and the motor, since it's not a can motor, uh, the, the part that spins can go and actually connect to the cast iron and dissipate heat a lot better. Whereas there's an airspace between a pump like this and its housing and it doesn't dissipate heat. And that's the name of the game with a motor is to dissipate that heat really well. If the motor runs cool, it's going to last a long time. Uh, other issues we have are the, the switch quality and we have a snap action switch here. And there's lots of different qualities in these switches and manufacturers can uh, you know, just spend a little on their parts and get uh, lesser quality parts and over the long run it's going to, you know, could give you a problem. Um, we also have float switch is issues. Uh, a float switch, uh, many of the manufacturers use hollow float switches like this one. And if this uh, switch leaks, it fills with water and no longer floats. Where well, this is a float switch, but it's solid and there's no way water can leak in here and cause that problem. Another issue is the actual impeller itself. Now there's different styles of impeller and uh, some have uh, are designed for, for different reasons, but the one we like best is this um, <coughs> impeller that has a clearance between where it spins and the bottom of the tray where it sucks the water in. And this way, if a little pebble got in there, there's a half inch airspace that will pump that pebble right up and out with the water and not clog the pump. Where uh, many other um, impeller designs can get clogged from uh, a pebble uh, getting sucked into the pump. And certainly uh, anything with a screen on it is gonna be trouble if you have mud or any debris that comes in with the water from the ground or from above uh, can clog the pump very easily. So um, that is the reason that we use the pumps that we do. They're called Zoller pumps, Zoller uh, brand, and they're manufactured in Louisville, Kentucky. And we can use any pump uh, brand uh, that we want. Uh, we don't manufacture these pumps. We chose to use them. All the other manufacturers would love to have us use their pumps, but we looked into it very carefully. Uh, since our name is on the line, and this is the pump that we most highly recommend. If you'd like more information, just click on the web link below or give us a call.